everyone, welcome to Wedding Sushi, where we take fresh ideas, tips, and tricks on planning and roll them up into bite-sized episodes. Today's topic is focused on lighting decor. So at Allegro Entertainment, we offer two different types of lights, and that is what I have right here with me today. So the first one that I want to talk about is an up light. What is it? How does it work? So what we have here is a Chauvet 56 par. This is an LED light. These can be programmed to over 10,000 different colors. So if you have picked your color scheme and maybe you've received a swatch of a bridesmaid's dress or a tie, um, some kind of fabric swatch that would match your wedding colors, bring that to our appointment. If you have not been provided with a color swatch of fabric, you can always go to Home Depot or Lowe's, go to the paint section and find samples that match the colors that you've chosen for your color scheme. And then of course, bring them with, with you to our appointment. We can discuss colors here at our showroom or better yet, even have a site visit at your venue. So up lights can do a couple of different things. First of all, they're fairly small. This is about eight inches across and it stands about six inches high from the ground. They actually go up against the wall, so it's not necessarily a tripping hazard unless you had guests that were walking right alongside the wall. Um, today, I actually have a couple of teal lights because that is our company color, so our showroom will always have this color up lighting. Um, but these are on an RGB coding system, which means it's different percentages of red, green, and blue that are used to achieve the color of your choice. The purpose for up lighting is to obviously add pops of color throughout your venue. Oftentimes it's used for perimeter lighting so that there's a soft glow around the outskirts of your room. Um, this can also enhance the look of a, an otherwise kind of ordinary ballroom. It can add some dimension and depth. The other thing that's nice with lighting is these up lights can really showcase architectural structures or textures that are in your venue. So these are a great way to enhance, like if you're having your wedding at the city museum, it's a great way to enhance some of those architectural structures. So the other light that I want to talk to you about is called a gobo. A gobo is actually an abbreviation for go between optical. I've got a couple of lenses out here on the table. The reason why it's called a go between optical is because when you have your design created, whether that's your names and your wedding date, or if you choose to have some textured or pattern designs, they will be carved or laser cut into a glass lens that goes into this little device that goes between the light source and the surface that you are projecting the image on. So the lens itself, instead of calling it a go-between optical, we shorten it by calling it a gobo. This is not the actual gobo. These are the actual gobos. And what I have here today, this is a Chave LF S5. These are the models that we currently have at Allegra Entertainment. Um, so I'm going to shine. I'm going to shine this one on the wall so you can see what this one looks like. This is going to be a custom design that we did for a couple that wanted to have their names and wedding dates. Now, if you are gonna do a pattern design with lighting, you are going to want a minimum of three to four lights. Otherwise, it won't really fill out this space very well. So that is everything that I wanted to discuss today on this episode of Wedding Sushi. If you have any questions about lighting decor, please contact us at allegrostl.com. And until next time, happy planning.